Hey guys, it's Vincent from Toronto Airsoft. Hey everybody, it's Ryan from Siege Airsoft. With heavy hearts, we have an important discussion at hand regarding proposed Canadian legislation that could ultimately change Canadian airsoft as we know it. Of course, for all of you who do not know, we're talking about proposed Bill C-21. So Vince, how does this bill affect airsoft in Canada? C-21 is first and foremost a firearms bill, but has a section targeting replica firearms and their classification under Canadian law. Essentially, C-21 could reclassify most airsoft guns as prohibited devices. This means that they cannot be legally transported, imported, or exported. You can own the ones that you already have, but not only are you unable to buy or sell them, but they can be legally taken away from you at any time with no compensation. Naturally, this will have devastating effects for many of us who have worked hard to turn airsoft into our careers, but also to the entire community for which airsoft is not just an activity, but a passion that spans decades. For those just looking at getting into airsoft, this may make it nearly impossible. Airsoft, as we know it in Canada, may be over. However, there is always hope. So Ryan, there's a lot of panic going on online about this current situation. How should Canadian airsofters be responding to this situation? The silver lining to this, Vince, is that if anything, this can bring airsofters together as a community. I know emotions are really high right now. However, it's important to remember that everybody here is a representative of the greater airsoft community. What about petitions? Are there any that people can sign? There are petitions going around, and there will be an official one coming soon that we will soon link. However, I do believe that petitions are kind of the bare minimum of activism that one can get involved in. They have been used and ignored before, so I would be careful with them. Okay, so a petition's better than doing nothing, but what do you think then is the most effective way to approach the situation? One big way that we can make our concerns heard is to write or to contact your local member of parliament. We're not really sure when or if this bill will pass, However, now is the chance to capitalize on this opportunity to educate the public and our government about our sport. Many members of the community have already done this. Now would be a great time to do so, to join in. We will include a link down below on how to find your local MP and their contact information. That makes a lot of sense. Reach out to your local representative about the issue, but are there any resources out there that'll help those of us a little less familiar with the whole process? Yeah, actually, behind the scenes, a lot of people in the industry across Canada have been working on this new great website called savingairsoft.ca. On that website, you're gonna be able to find current news on what's going on, how this law could affect airsofters, how to talk to non-airsofters and how to approach this kind of thing with a bit of decorum. The website also has information on how to write a letter to your MP, as well as a writing template and guide so that we all send a unified message to our government. That all sounds great, especially for someone like me who's never actually reached out to an MP before. Yeah, it's actually a great opportunity now to get involved in our democratic process. So make sure guys to check out the website, the link will be in the description down below, as well as the official petition as soon as that's available. As a message to our community, stay strong. There are more places for this bill to die than to pass. It's going to be an uphill battle, but we stand with our fellow businesses, fields, communities, and game organizers in this struggle together. Remember to be kind, respectful, and understanding in any discussion regarding this topic. After all, we all do represent this community that we love. We'll keep our community updated as developments roll in. Thanks for watching, everybody. And stay safe out there, and hopefully we'll see you soon.